Testies, testies. One, two, testies. What's going on, America? Jericho Green here with you again. And Trump has announced we will be withdrawing troops from Syria. Now you might be saying to yourself, what's wrong with that? I say not a fucking thing. But if you ask Marco Rubio and a couple other fucking rhino pieces of shit, they say that there is something wrong with that. He said that Trump needs to, quote, rethink this, exclamation point. Well, Marco, why don't you and the other ding-dong saying that shit rethink what party you're in? Maybe it's time for you to move on. Maybe it's time for you to move to the other side because you're not doing shit for us. There's absolutely nothing wrong with pulling our troops out. Now, are we going to make the mistakes of Barry's past? No. We're not going to just pull out and not leave a stabilizing force behind? Of course not. They're talking about 35 to 40,000 Syrian troops that need to be trained and armed to protect, now here's a novel idea, their own fucking country. What's wrong with that? We, got, we took care of ISIS. Trump says they're finished. We knocked them out. Ten count. They're not getting up. If you want to know what we did to ISIS, you need to look up a clip on YouTube by this UFC fighter named Phil Baroni. There's a clip where he fought some clown. I don't know if this dude's even still alive. I think we watched his murder on tape. But he hits the guy with the left, knocks him up against the cage, and the guy was kind of had that, the lights are on but nobody's home look. Phil Baroni looks over at the ref. The ref kind of shrugs and says, Hey, he's still on his feet. And Phil Baroni proceeds to hit this dude nine times in the same spot in his jaw. That's what we did to ISIS. We knocked them out. They slid across the floor. They're snoring. So what else is there to do? Bring our men and women home. I would be up for discussing bringing all of our troops home from all around the world. I know it's crazy, but maybe these countries can take care of themselves. We're arming them. We're training them. They're, getting, they're going to be trained and armed by the greatest military force that this planet has ever seen. I think that's more than enough. So bring them home. Why not? How could anybody have a problem with bringing our men and women home out of a war zone? Out of harm's way? And just in time for the holidays. Side note, I'll tell you one thing that gets me every damn time are those videos of soldiers coming home and surprising their kids at school or surprising their wife. That gets me every time. <clears throat> let's bring it back together. So that's great. I don't see a problem with that. Trump uh, released a little video about a minute and a half long where he talks about how painful it is and how, how much it saddens him to have to call a parent, a spouse, and tell them that their son or daughter is dead and that they died for this country. And I hate the narrative of, oh, well, people who join the military are poor and colored people and they have no other options. That's a bunch of bullshit. Our military is built on a volunteer policy. You volunteer to go to the military. You choose to go to the military. They have a very selective process. They don't just let anybody in who walks through the fucking recruiter's door. Shout out to my recruiter. You're a dick. You lied to me. But anyway, this is a good thing. This is a good thing to bring our men and women home out of harm's way. Now, if there's a legitimate reason that we need to go fuck somebody up, we can and we will. But we're done with ISIS. And I think if we leave behind a big enough stabilizing force, they can take care of it. The Syrians can take care of themselves. And if they don't, dun, 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 that's their fucking fault. We should bring our troops home and have them line our borders and face their guns outward. What is wrong with that? We don't, we don't need to be the world's fucking nanny anymore. If these countries can't get along without mommy and daddy America coming between them, and sending them to their rooms? Fuck them. We got enough problems here. Look at our southern border. You think we can use some troops down there? You think those cartels couldn't use a, a mod deuce? A 50 cal to their fucking nostril? Yeah. 
We have plenty of problems here. Fuck them. Syria, take care of yourself. What's wrong with that? How the fuck can a Republican, a so-called Republican, have a problem with that? Or anyone. They must not have family in the military. That's my only thought here. They must not know anybody in the military. Why keep them in harm's way for a stupid fucking reason? Same thing with Afghanistan. How long have we been fucking around over there? Change the rules of engagement, flatten those motherfuckers, and come home. Period. They can have their own stabilizing force to take care of their own fucking country. Hello? Like Larry Elder would say, is this thing on? That's my thoughts on it, people. I think Trump is right. We should bring the troops home. We're done in Syria. Whether they repel ISIS if they try to come back or not, we're done. We dropped enough bombs, we dropped enough blood over there. It's a wrap. So let me know what you think in the comments, y'all. Am I right? Am I wrong? If you think I'm wrong, tell me why. Let's be respectful. If not, I will clown the shit out of you. Now you know how it goes, people. I gotta get in this damn rat race. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow your boy on the Twitters, at Green underscore Jericho. I'm Jericho Green, and I'm out.